Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. This is our first question. There are 22 students standing in a column. Albert and Marco stand next to each other. If there are 13 students standing behind them, how many students are in front of them? How we solve the problem. Merong 23 students in column. Then, merong 13 students na nasa likuran nila Albert and Marco. So, kailangan natin silang ibawas. So, the answer is 10. So, dito sa 10 students, ibabawas naman natin sina Albert and Marco. Kasi ang tinatanong lang is, Ilan ang nasa unahan na Albert and Marco? So, bawas sila sa bilang. So, the answer now is 8 students are in front of Albert and Marco. Question. When Albert was born, his mother was 27 years old. His sister was born 3 years later. When Albert's mother is 60 years old, how old is his sister? So, dito ang inahanap natin ay yung age ng, kanila, ng kanyang sister. So, let us solve the problem. Chart para maipakita or masolve ang problem. So, ilagay natin sa first column yung mga characters. Si Albert, si mother, and si sister. So, nung ipinanganak daw si Albert, so that means zero pa lang nun si Albert, Ang kanyang nanay ay 27 years old na. Then, 3 years later, so ibig sabihin, mag-add tayo ng 3, so 0 plus 3 equals 3. So, 3 years later, 3 years old na si Albert Lon. And her and his mother is already 30 years old. Sa so, pa lang, ipinanganak ang kanilang sister, or ang kanyang sister. Then, kung si his mother ay 60 years old na, so kita naman natin na meron silang a uh, 30 year difference. So therefore, ang age ng kanyang sister ay 30 years old. So add lang tayo ng 30. Number 3. What number is represented by a question mark in the following table? So, ito yung table and hahanapin natin yung nawawalang number. To solve the table, kailangan natin humanap ng pattern. So, as we can see, ang pattern dito is kapag minultiply natin ang 4 and 3, the product is in the third column, sa so 12. Ganun din kapag minultiply natin ng 3 and 6, so 18 ang kalalabasang product. So, 5 times 7 is 35. So, ang pattern dito is we will just multiply the first and the second column to get the missing number. So, 12 times 4 is 48. So, 48 is the missing number. Given that the 14th of March, 2041 is a Thursday, which day of the week is the 3rd of July in the same year? So, inahanap natin yung araw kung saan papatak yung 3rd of July ng parehong taon. Ililist daw natin yung number of days mula March hanggang uh, July. So, sa March, March has 31 days. April has 30 days. May has 31 days. June has 30 days. And July has 3 days since 3rd of July lang naman ang inahanap natin. So, dito sa March, kailangan natin ibawas yung 14 days. So, 31 minus 14 days equals 17 days. Then, 30 pa rin siya, 31, 30, and 3 days. So, after nyan, i-add natin itong mga number of days. And yung 17 plus 30 plus 31 plus 30 plus 3. So, the sum is 111 days. After natin makuha yung sum mula March hanggang July, i-divide naman natin yung 111 sa 7 days. So, ang makukuha natin dyan ay 15 remainder 6. So, yung remainder natin, ito yung pagbabasihan natin kung saan papatak 
yung 3rd of July. So, 6 days after Thursday. So, bilang ka, wala Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, ang 3rd of July ay papatak ng Wednesday. 5. According to the pattern shown below, what letter from the English alphabet should be in the space provided? So, we are looking for the missing letter. So, paano natin siya isa-solve? Okay, so to solve the, pot, the sequence, we have to look for the pattern. So, hanapin natin. Mula B hanggang E, meron siyang tatlong letters. So, B, C, D, E. Then, mula E naman hanggang H, meron din tayong tatlong letters. E, F, D, H. Then, mula H hanggang K, meron din tayong tatlong letters. So, H, I, J, K. Then, sumunod, yung natitirang letters, F hanggang I, ang pattern din niya ay 3. So, F, G, H, I. So, ngayon, ang nawawalang letter ay I, J, K, L. So, tatlong interval, so L ang nawawalang letter. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.